Straight from the edge, it's time for some nighttime drama. Over on Grand Hotel, Javi and Ingrid head up to the penthouse because they're they're gonna reveal that that Ingrid is the one that's having the baby, and you know the two of them aren't you know really nervous about it, but they're heading up there not not knowing what to expect. And uh, Santiago and Gigi are having breakfast, and of course uh, Ingrid shows up wearing her her uniform. And so they're they're presuming that that she's there to clean up after everything. And <laughs> at first, you know, Javi and and her don't say anything, and you know they're just playing along a little bit. And um, at some point, they decide to uh, you know maneuver it a little bit more, um, even though they keep digging themselves in a, in a hole. And Ingrid just finally blurts out that she's the one that's having the baby. And um, so they're, they're kind of like not sure how to react at first, but, um, you know, Santiago obviously has his reservations on, you know, Ingrid's motives. They don't really know too much about her and, you know, he's seen it from the perspective of the business and protecting, uh, the hotel. And so he's <laughs> trying to, to mitigate what, what he sees as a potential problem. And this kind of is a little bit juxtaposition of the last episode where he seemed to be interested in knowing, you know, about his grandkid. So, um, uh, Gigi, of course, is, you know, more, she, she's had a rough, um, time when, when her husband had left the girls and her, and so she's trying to, um, see it from Ingrid's perspective, but, um, so, uh, you know, Santiago overreacts from the whole thing, and he ends up having, um, Alicia put out a, a memo to the staff that to remind them, you know, that they're not supposed to be dating each other. And so, uh, Alicia is supposed to be enforcing all of this. And, um, it kind of gives a good opportunity for Danny to basically say that, um, you know, I, I really can't, um, interact with you because, uh, you know, the policy. And of course, in the last episode, we found out that, he's actually either married or has a girlfriend and, you know, cause this is all to try to find a sister. And so, um, gave him a nice out there and she's just thinking that she got rejected kind of. Um, but, uh, you know, so, uh, Yoli is, you know, um, pursuing Marissa and, uh, they end up getting caught in the spa um, cause they'd, um, locked the room or whatever. And so one of the other staff kind of, um, snitched on them because of the new policy. And so Alicia is having to deal with, with the fact that her, her stepsister is trying to get her to back off, you know, the investigation or whatever. This is just ridiculous stuff, but in this day and age, you know, but, uh, anyway, um, so, you know, Danny found out the last week that the basically Mateo and I don't think he necessarily knows Santiago's involved, but about the blackmail money and, you know, he's stolen some stuff out of the garbage can and saw, saw that cause he was trying to find the handwriting that matched the letter that they had from, um, Sky's, um, room. And so, you know, Danny's just wanting to tear Mateo apart considering he thinks that he has something to do with his sister's disappearance. And so he follows him to, you know, a boxing gym and, um, Mateo spots him and he's like, Hey, I need a sparring partner. And, and so, you know, he, he gets up in there in the ring and, you know, he's, they're sparring pretty good. And, and Mateo's saying, you know, that he, you know, hits like a girl and just right away, Danny just turns it right around on him and, and basically wails him down into the floor and, you know, they had to pull him off of him. And he, you know, he said, I don't hit girls. And so Mateo, you know, he knows something's up here. And, and so he, he basically says, you know, this is your one warning. But um, he says, if I ever need something, that he's going to ask him. Well, shortly thereafter, he does end up asking him to take the money to the, the blackmailer. And, um, you know, Danny's invested in trying to figure out who it is more than Mateo is. So... Um, he does everything he can to actually make it go off correctly and, and catch the guy. Well, of course, uh, Mateo, you know, had GPS, whatever. And so he, he's tracking down where it is. 
And at the same time, Danny's realizing, whoa, Jason, we actually have a, a match possible with the birthday card with the other um, handwriting. So, uh, you know, it's just a match. And he realizes who it is, and it's Nelson. And so, you know, it's a race to, to, to get to Nelson before something might happen to him because he, he really wants to know what happened to his sister. And so, you know, Mateo's confronting him and uh, ends up getting the money back. And then, of course, Nelson, trying to get away, gets himself seriously hurt and put in the hospital. So, um, you know, not, not too good. And uh, opportunity for Mateo to, you know, do his dirty, dirty work. So, um, yeah, uh, Santiago, um, through overstepping... You know, he ended up uh, basically uh, saying to um, uh, Javi and um, Ingrid that he wanted um, her to sign um, essentially agreement that she wouldn't go after the, the hotel for money. Um, and then it also had a paternity test in there because he realized that you could get one after about eight weeks. And so he... Uh, he overplayed, everyone was mad at him, and this forced Javi to support Ingrid, and, you know, they ran out of the room after that, uh, or he ran after her, and so, of course, they're looking at each other, you know, and, well, of course, that forced them together to where they realized they were attracted to each other, and so, you know, they, they were together for the first time, even though he thinks it's the second time, so, a lot of fun, I mean, Ingrid just definitely is one to watch and um she's bringing a lot to this character having a lot of fun with it and you know just playing off of of Javi I mean can't go wrong there but uh Gigi and Carolina are talking a little bit later and and she basically revealed to her mom that you know she hadn't really seen Javi with um, Ingrid, but you know, she'd seen Mateo arguing with her, look, look like a, a lover spat. And so, um, uh, Gigi is basically realizing, like, oh, my daughter has these, you know, talents that I didn't really realize because, you know, everyone treats her like she doesn't know anything and, and she's just kind of, um, you know, an heiress sort of thing where, where she doesn't contribute anything. But she's like, oh, my daughter, you know, is, is a people watcher. And so, She's got some talents, but uh, just a ton of fun on this and, uh, you know, a ton of drops out there. Keep on researching.